This is Roger Strokoff with Syscon TV, day two of Cloud Expo West in Santa Clara. And we're joined right now by Tomar Levy with Logs.io. This is a, this is cool because we're going to talk about DevOps and we're going to talk about, um, you know, it's the, the little beating geek in my heart, the little beating heart of my geek or however you would put that. This is the kind of stuff I like. So, Tomar, welcome. And let's talk a little bit about Logs.io. What do you do? And after you describe that, I, I think you have something similar to Splunk and maybe we can talk about that. But welcome and what is Logs.io? do. Hi, thank, thanks for having me. So, um, Logs.io, what we're doing, we're a log analytics platform. We offer the Elk Stack, which is the most common log analytics platform in the world. Uh, we offer it as a cloud service. It means that for our customer, they want to use the best open source there is for their log management. We provide them that as a service in the cloud with an enterprise version. So, we have features which are not uh, part of the open source, like alerts, role-based access, uh, and other features. So, I mean, there's, there's uh, like in the Cloud Foundry ecosystem, you can download the basic open source, but there are extra features on some of the distros. So, how does that compare to what to Splunk? Are you sort of in the same area? Sure, definitely. We're, we're in the same area. We're um, approaching the same enterprise customers. Um, you know, in reality, most of the companies in the world are actually using open source, mm -hmm. like um, probably a couple of hundred thousand companies around the world like LinkedIn and Facebook and Google are using the Elk stack for log management. So we're helping these companies and others um, you know, get the best out of this open source and use it as a cloud service instead of uh, undergoing all the pain of installing and managing their own stack. Um, and that's definitely something that, um, that competes with Splunk. Now, when you're you know doing things in the cloud, you have this whole issue of horizontal scalability. How does that affect what your company does and what your software does and the horizontal scalability. Is there an effect on performance or how do, how do you deal with that? Sure, so realistically, five years ago, four years ago, we couldn't have uh, launched Logs.io. The cloud really allows us to uh, support the, the amount of data that, are, that our customers are shipping. So um, with the infrastructure, with the technology we have built, we're able to scale to support any customer shipping one gigabyte a day or one terabyte a day, uh, having the data retention for one week or one year. Uh, we use microservices, we use Docker, we use all of the new technologies to support this kind of scale uh, in the cloud. Uh, do you have customers all over the world or just in the US? So we have customers from 60 different countries. Uh, we're adding uh, many customers every month to the platform uh, from Europe, from Africa, from Asia, from obviously from the US and from Europe. You, uh, the reason I ask that is do you see any differences in, in their requirements or you know, in your part of the stack or your part of the world and ecosystem, is there a difference in different parts of the world for your customers? Yeah, yeah, mostly there are, there are very little differences. I think most of the differences are in the open source adoption. So for me, it was a surprise to see that actually in Asia and in the East, the, the open source is actually uh, uh, very well adopted. So people are used to working with open source. And I think in the US, uh, people are more likely to buy proprietary software and no doubt this is changing. Um, this is why I think there's a very interesting opportunity in Asia and in Europe for, for Logs.io. And as far as the use of your product, who's using it and what sort of learning curve or education do they need? So, so this is one of the advantages of using open source, right? There is so much content online, so then you can basically sign up for the platform. Within a couple of minutes, you'll be up and running. Uh, you have so many tutorials and blog posts and videos for people to learn how to use the system. Uh, it's a very big advantage that really eases and shortens the onboarding of, of new customers. And as far as your open source, or, excuse me, your open source approach, you believe that you know, the, the community is helping you out, and all of the, um, you know, what are the real advantages to you and to your customers? Yeah, no doubt. Without this, without the strong community of the Elk community, you know, this project has, you know, wouldn't get to where it is right now. So definitely, it's pushing uh, the product forward, and I think it, it's it's a benefit for all customers. They all enjoy the the new features and 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 brings a lot of innovation to the market. Beautiful. We've been joined for a few minutes by Tomar Levy with Logs.io. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. For Syscon TV, this is Roger Strokoff.